Well, it was another uh, another end of the season. It was a it was a tough way to end the season this year, and um, you know we we certainly have moved on as a team, but uh, you know in some aspects you you got to just you know put it behind you. And uh, this week is an off week for the team. A lot of the guys don't really come to the rink, and um, so what we're going to do today here at Brad Miller time is is uh, go and play some April Fool's tricks on some of the guys. Uh, equipment and stuff around the room uh, seeing as nobody will be here for another re week about um, you know couldn't be a better time so uh, come join us it's April Fools today and we're gonna go mess with some of the guys for next week all right well the first prank we have today is uh, Mario Lamru he's messing with Hextall and Hextall is not around the rink right now so what he's gonna do is uh, take some clear tape Put it on the bottom of Hextall's blade. That way, when Hextall walks onto the ice for the next time, he will uh, he will fall as soon as he hits the ice. Uh, tell us a little bit about this one, Mark. Uh, I've used this, this one in my finer days, and uh, it works like a charm. No one ever sees it coming, and I make sure I am the first one on the ice. And I I'll wait for hours for that guy to come on the ice. And uh, I'll tell you what, the, the, those few seconds he's laying on the ice is worth uh, several hours of waiting. I can tell you that much really brings a smile to my face and uh, it's it's basically undetectable it's clear on the blade and uh, it's it's very hard to see so that's uh, that's prank one today for Hextall and uh, we're gonna go ahead and mess with uh, most of his stuff in a stall all right for prank two on Hextall uh, Mar, I'm gonna let you explain this one this is one of your originals uh, go ahead and tell us what you're gonna do here all right well first off we get a cup of water, a cup of any beverage, I guess, that you want. Depends how uh, mean you want to be on the, that given day. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this little cup of water. We're going we're gonna to slide it in his shin pad right here. And when he thinks he's uh, getting uh, peacefully dressed uh, with the rest of the team, little does he know when he pulls that shin pad down, he's going to get a face full of water. And uh, I'll be the first one to uh, jump up and point in his face and laugh. It's another classic from Mar. Let's see what else we got. All right, for prank three, uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and cut Hexy's laces. Um, basically, this is pretty straightforward. You you cut the lace at the point that it's going to be at the very top uh, eyelet. So you, when you have the most pressure on the skates, when you want that part the tightest on your foot, it's going to snap. He'll probably be late to that practice, and uh, you know everybody will everyone will get a kick out of that as well. Absolutely. Um, little does he know. Unfortunately, we don't have practice for a while, but the next time he does skate, he's going to have a pleasant surprise here. And uh, I know a few weeks ago I had this prank pulled on me, and uh, we'll just say what goes around comes around in every sense. And we never really found out who cut your laces, but uh, you, could, you could guess. I think I could guess if I had to pick names, but I guess we'll never really know unless that person has uh, the courage to uh, fess up to it. Well, we're, uh, we're definitely not down with Hexy yet, so what else we got? Well, this is the, uh, the point in the prank cycle where it, uh, it really gets personal. This, this prank takes a lot of time to correct. Uh, what Mara is actually doing here is putting uh, pieces of tape on each part of Hexy's cage. Uh, it, is, it is a real pain to get this tape off. And uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what you know about this one. Uh, I know that uh, if you're going to pull this prank, that it's definitely personal. There's definitely some beef between the two people. And me and Brett certainly have some beef, with, especially with him uh, not showing up for the show today. Um, and, yeah, when he puts this thing on, he's going to have a... He's going to be very angry. And I hope he knows that it's me because... He's been a ghost for the last few days. Nobody really knows where he's been, but he's been around. No one knows what he's doing, but uh, good luck with this one. I heard he took the red eye straight from New Hampshire back, and we haven't seen him since. Yeah, guys, like I said, guy's been a ghost. Uh, I hope he comes around because uh, he's dear to my heart, but uh, no, we got some serious beef right now, and uh, you know, payback, uh, payback sucks. All right, let's move on. Well, since we got the uh, the face mask good and messed up, uh, I see no reason not to 
use the old water trick one more time. It's, it's more commonly used inside the helmet. Uh, we thought we'd use it in the shin pad today for a demo, but uh, this is how you put it in the helmet so it falls all over him when he pulls his helmet out. Puts that cup right inside the helmet there. Now when Hexy pulls the shin pad out, he's going to be covered in water, and now he'll pull his helmet out, not only be pissed at the tape on there, but also it's going to hit him right in the face as he pulls it out. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit him hard because he's going to be soaked from the shin pads already, and uh, when he gets that another face full of water um, there's going to be fumes and sparks going everywhere and uh, you know, I'm going to really enjoy every second of it. I plan on bringing a videotape to the rink that day. At this point you almost want to give the guy a space and just let him do it. Uh, you know, fist fights have not, uh, have not been uncommon at, the, at this stage of pranking somebody uh, when you get hit with two cups of water in the same time. It, it may happen. Absolutely, yeah. I'm uh, my Dukes are ready, so, you know, I got Lance Armstrong here and Jack Johnson on the other, so, you know, whatever you got, whatever you got. Okay. Well, one of the last pranks of the day, uh, we grabbed Aaron Walski's stick. As everyone knows, he is uh, one of the more elderly on the team. Aged. He's a... Uh, Aged. He's aged, he's been around, he's seen a lot. Uh, as you can see, he now that he is down at the NCAA, he has some uh, formal sponsors. Uh, I'll let you take a look at those. As you go up, you know you can see uh, he's got the sponsor for canes, walkers, and more. Uh, we attached his cane uh, that he got for Secret Santa up on the top. And that was actually given by Mario. Uh, along with the wheelchair, but we couldn't fit that on the stick. So, uh, you know, that's that's a pretty good prank. Uh, Walski, he's all, he's all about looks on the ice. He wants to look good, and, um, you know, he's not going to be happy with this, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, he's certainly going to, the next time he steps on the ice, he's going to, he has rage blackouts just like Zach Jones, and, uh, you know, it's going to be a, it's going to be an awesome sight for uh, that day when we get Hextall and Walski fuming at the same time. You know, sparks are going to ignite. Let's move on. Well, this is the last stop on the uh, April Fools' tour, and uh, Mar is currently packing Hextall's changing stall up and putting it in this bag, which he will later hide uh, somewhere around the rink. Uh, it might be in the upper deck, might be in the nosebleeds, the catwalk. We don't know yet. Um, so he's packing all that up and. Uh, next time Hexy comes to get dressed to uh, hit the ice, he will be surprised to say the least, and uh, you know, that's all there is to it. Let's just say he's going to be uh, have some trouble finding his clothes. I mean, not really a whole lot to say about this one other than it's priceless. He's going to get here and he's going to, you know, he's going to be naked. That's, that's pretty much how it's going to be. What would you rather have? Hexy seeing the episode before he comes to the rink or coming to the rink and then later seeing the episode? I, you know what? Either way is fine with me because, you know, he's basically getting what he deserves right now. And, uh, you know, this is just going to be awesome. I just cannot wait uh, to see the look on his face when he finds out uh, what has happened on today's episode. Well, that's going to do it here from April Fools in the locker room. Uh, we've gotten some good pranks. And uh, we're going to do our best to try and uh, catch those guys when the pranks happen to them. We uh, don't know if that's feasible or not, but we'll try our best to uh, get them on to the viewers. So hope everyone has a good April Fool's Day, and thanks for watching.